Edition. But speaking of that, we are now headed into our first game of these best of three series between Tesla Esports and Manina right. Bug Gaming. Now we'll see how this will pan out. Um, a little bit of, a little bit even when it comes to how they are uh, drafted, but. How do I say this? It's not even because you are you favor uh, lineup over the other, but it's even mm. because both of them have their own win conditions. Oh. And even when we are talking about the strength of this uh, lineup from Mahina Po Gaming, they, we mm -hmm. can see pressure being built up because of the early game presence, nonetheless coming out from Mahina Po Gaming. True, and the Thumbs earlier did a pretty good job to really show the way the Hellcurt uh, to uh, a very dwindling health, uh, forcing mm. him to back away, and that gives uh, you know the Thumbs a lot of time to steal those jungle monsters off there. But going back right here, looks like a potential steal won't be able to be uh, used. But at the same time, here onto the turtle side, though, but into that blue side, they successfully killed. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was the Grok. So was that was Grok. yeah, that was good pick off for the side of Mahinako Gaming. Oh look at this! If War is just level one, just. Recently went mm -hmm. for level two, so with only smart missiles available, the ejector wasn't there. And the Kufra felt comfortable jumping because he knows that he will not be punished at all by Ivory. Mm -hmm. Which means that in the grand scheme of things, it's uh Mahina Po Gaming who's losing the battle. But you can see now with the carry level four, oh. they forced out the flicker from Ben Things. That, that, that's uh, a good really... strategy, actually, mm -hmm. because it kind of denies more resources uh, for right. the side of Tessa Esports. But here, it looks like it was done, and Rake, as well, will be forced to use his flicker here. And uh, to retaliate with that, three men of Mahina Po Gaming is going into the bottom side, but to the top, they managed to get a pick off for themselves. So, th so, so far, uh, it's kind of a uh, rally onto the opposite sides of our but momentum-wise, I think it's still uh, Mahina Po Gaming's advantage. Now let's go down to the bottom lane where we can see a little bit of die, but the arrival play from Ozumaki kind of stops this streak though with a nicely timed last insanity. Gonna be punished, but the fact that they got the kill first, they are now ahead in terms of EXP, and mm. that's also a core that they were able to take. And yeah. even uh, though that happened, it seems like the gold overall gold of this game is favor towards Peso Esports side. Yes, and uh, as much if ever so that uh, Peso Esports keep up this space and really denying that Hellcurt alongside with the carry, uh, this could really go for them even at the even before mid game arrives. So that is one of the things that Peso Esports has to take into account here, but. Uh, yeah, we did, did mention earlier gaming has a lot of counter plays, so all they need to do now is to actually give some space to that carry right there, um, make it into a point wherein they're, they're not they're not really in a rush, yes. but at the same time to really go in a pace wherein they could corner out the SAE sports. Yeah. Okay, now on to the turtle side. That's uh, Dobong Sini Gang, but Ben Fix oh. actually spots them out now. Gonna be taken out though. It gets the jump from Austin Esports. Nice mm. three man tyrant's reach. And the turtle will now be on the hands of the Esmeralda. Now jump forward, falling Storm will take out the, the export this time. And Dobong Sini Gang jumping forward, catching Lei. Lei with the Cyclone Eye gets away, but Ivory will have to use the flicker now. Dobong Sini Gang still Ooh. wants to go for the dive. Nice Guardian's Barrier. And a double Sinigang will not be attempt the dive now. As <laughs> they get two kills. A double Sinigang. What does this mean in English? <laughs> a double this... Sinigang are two viands of uh, Filipino yeah. foods. And it's different. So They're I totally like it how different. we merged it together. <laughs> but going yeah. back to our game, looks like he is the one serving up the dishes right here, Wolf. As he, yeah. if you if you saw the damage that he really inflicted onto the tankier heroes of Mahinapo Gaming, it goes to show that uh, Adobong Sinigang is really having a good rotation on his side. Now they want to catch Adobong Sinigang up top. Mm -hmm. Nice jump from uh, Josh to be able to run away to the left side as Austin Esports is taken out as well. Now Ivory as well as Lei. Saving some damage from Ben thinks, but now they're safe. Esmeralda will have to completely back down as mm -hmm. Rick is actually here. This is not actually the Esmeralda backing down. This is Esmeralda just finding the targets. Now I see why is he left here. Now he's in a Ooh. very bad spot. Pops the purify just to get away. Is their punishment? Wave of the world gonna be cast, but not enough 
damage to take down anyone. Esmeralda, this is going to be a good potential falling, falling star. Who catches two, gets the first kill, gets the double kill, including the kill onto that carry. And the teleport from Ben thinks far too late. <laughs> Nevertheless, yeah. they'll get two kills anyways. I love it how patient the Bruno was here for the side of uh, Peso Esports because if ever so that he went a bit too greedy, especially with his ult, it could have uh, you know turned around. But uh, he knows that the Esmeralda is there, really lurking and roaming, and waited for the right to get that falling star moon in a way that those three tanky heroes were really compiled together. Mm -hmm. So that was a good strategy, really. Yeah, absolutely. Now the purple buff is gonna take it. It's gonna be the Thames. Wow, mm. what a nice snag, but he's gonna be punished. But I think the blue side, which is uh, two doors or Peso Esports, are still mm -hmm. okay with that trade as they also took down the turtles. So in terms of economy, they're still leading and they have a lot of farm now. Benting's able to snatch that jungle creep away. You know, they catch the Grok, the combo, the layering of stuns going forth. Unleash the beast, but the beast is gonna be taken out. But it's yes. best, so sports. I like it though, because the Thomas right here did a pretty good job in diverting the attention of Mahinapo Gaming so that the other members of Peso Esports can really have that space to get objectives. And that is one of the things uh, that we've been observing, uh, even though in the, in the very early phases of our game, they are really maintaining or in, the, in being consistent in the advantage that they have right now. And speaking of advantage, Drake here is really going to be forced to get that tower hug because you can see how the damage mm -hmm. output of Tesla Esports can do. Yeah, Ivory is gonna be it was a flicker away, Reek. Now there's the Falling Star Moon. Nice catch out of two, but the punishment. Oh, the tower is reached oh. though. Catches me. Now they take out the Joyed and the Exborg as well. There's the arrival play coming up from the Thams. Porting more people now onto the top lane as they want to go for a push. With the Bruno now available, they'll be able to take the inhibitor turret up top. And it seems like there's no draft advantage at all from yeah. their opponents because Peso Esports are doing a great job and they teleport away, all of them. Yes. Wow, what so, a play. That was good transition for Lui Yu because uh, they already know that um, Mahinapo Gaming has already a limit in terms of the map control here and they all they have to do just really to be patient. And for the side of Bruno earlier, I love it that he had a very good position to free hit and go for that clean up because the combo of the Esmeralda and the Cooper were really on point. And speaking of Quan, oh, it looks like he wasn't able to get anyone there, but that is okay. It looks like he's just really pushing Ooh. him. I will be cornering out Unleash the Peace with Bruno for the kill. What a nice sister to the way of the world. <laughs> but Unleash the Beast is uh, the only one to fall in there. Mm -hmm. Now, Tams Uzumaki once again stealing off the purple buff. Lei wants to make him pay for it, but Uzumaki is out with two buffs as well. An orange buff and yeah. a purple buff for his own. Yeah, we're not seeing uh, any signs that the carry is being given some space because this Thomas right here is really good at roaming. Speaking of roaming, look at that. There was a knockoff, but is forced to disengage. Look at that. They are managing the Esmeralda into that tower, but manages to escape safely. Now, the thing is, I see here will just be going onto the towers first before getting any more pickoffs. And Ben thinks here really good at sacrificing himself onto the top side so that Pesa Esports team will be heading onto the bottom. And they do go to the bottom lane, oh. jumping over the Kupra. No ultimate commitment from Austin Esports. Patience from Austin Esports paying off. Mm -hmm, These mm -hmm. four peso as they get to inhibitors now. Yes. Josh can be spotted out by the Thames. Actually, oh. man fights against his Thames and not winning it. In fact, he will just straight up lose that fight with the ejector to punish Uzumaki. But Uzumaki is so happy with that trade off, taking down Josh. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a uh, very important um, hero now for Mahina Po Gaming. True, true. And I think uh, the best... Uh, actually, this is like the common thing right now for Peso Esports is to just really wait for this Lord, uh, really take it and just go for the push. And the fact that they've already uh, exposed the base onto the top and bottom, we, even without the help of the Lord, is uh, showing dominance here for the side of Peso mm -hmm. Esports. Let's see 
more action now onto the orange here comes the diversion the teleport now Ooh. three members all of a sudden in there you mm. will have to commit the pure the teleport i'm sorry the flicker Lord, gets mm. away that was really scary for my up gaming and very good potential with the diversion in there coming up from the Lu Yi. but they will Too not get rough. any kill from that too close for comfort, but the Hellcat has to be really careful right here. He is alone, and you have to take down the positioning because four members of Mahinapo Gaming is on to the base. And this Hellcat right here, I think, is planning to go back door by split pushing this bottom side. But like I mentioned earlier, uh, Pesto Esports is going to be taking this objective once again to really, you know, potentially finish the game. But it kind of depends if they manage to get either the Bruno or the Luo Yi first. <laughs> I think they want to go for Unleash the Beast now. Unleash the Beast, they will turn away. Kufra mm. not going to be able to reach him. We'll see mm. how the rest of Mayinapo Gaming can defend. It's not going to be an easy task though. Oh no, Josh might have overstepped his bounce. Why did he jump now? Has to pop the ultimate. Where is he going? He's not going to be chased down by his opponents because you know what? Peso Esports are happy with this. Yes. Dark Knight Pulse is already out. They forced it on him, and this is a good advantage because they won't be able to, you know, really blur out the vision of Pesto Esports at this rate. Especially, the Lord is on to the top side, and they could easily pressure Mahinapal Gaming into the other lanes. And this is exactly what they are doing right now. And now it's going to be really hard for their opponents to just uh, defend at this point Mahinapal mm -hmm. Gaming. They don't have the best wave clear, in fact. Mm -hmm. While they might have enough hero damage, when it comes to like dealing with the wave and with the Lord, it's mm. not going to be promising for Mahinapo Gaming. It goes Austin sure. Esports charging it up, jumping Ooh. in, Tyrus Rage onto three. Where's the Rage? Not gonna use it yet because he doesn't need to. But Luo Yi is gonna be taken up by the carry. In comes the Dark Knight Falls finally off cooldown, jumping from Josh, but gonna be punished. He's not able to deal the damage, and the base goes down. Game one in favor of um, Peso Esports. Peso Esports. Right. Yes. 